Well, good evening. Thanks for joining us for 41 NBC News at 6. I'm Tucker Sargent. And I'm Shelby Coates. To our top story tonight at 6, a June 5th arrest in Bibb County made the rounds on social media and generated multiple comments after one woman taped some of the interaction on her phone. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller spoke with the Sheriff's Office to find out if what's on the video is considered protocol. And we do want to warn you, the video may be disturbing to watch. A local woman became concerned when she noticed a situation unfolding between a Bibb County Sheriff and a person he was trying to arrest. Selena Reed began filming on her phone, but the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says there's more to the story than what the video tells. Put your hands behind your back! Selena Reed was not available for an interview, but she did tell us off camera she witnessed the situation unfolding and decided to film it. Reed says she was concerned when she saw the deputy punch a man, Jamal Terrence Smith, on the ground. Colonel Henderson Carswell says the situation began during a traffic stop. Colonel Carswell says the deputy did not break protocol. He said the deputy was trying to gain control of the situation. He still has a handcuff on one arm, which could become a weapon. And the officer did even put in this report that he delivered a couple of strikes, which is permissible in certain circumstances. And according to our policy, this appeared to be one of those circumstances. The arrest report says Smith was tased twice and continued resisting both times. Deputies grabbed Smith when he tried to run for a third time. They instructed him to stay down and stop resisting as they tried to gain control to cuff his right hand. The deputy says he delivered two closed fist strikes to Smith's face. When Smith snatched his right arm away with the handcuff on his wrist, Sheriff David Davis says the department is looking into various parts of the incident to see what they could do different or better. Two deputies, they uh, took action. He was uh, uh, finally taken uh, into custody and, uh, and, and, and an arrest was effected. So uh, we're, we're looking into all that. Colonel Carswell says there will be a use of force report filed. The deputies, Captain, Major and Chief will then review the report along with Colonel Carswell. He says they will decide if trainings or corrections need to be made. If Smith or someone else on his behalf wants to file a complaint, they can do so through the sheriff's office. He says in this circumstance, an outside agency would not investigate the incident. When we see them, you know, on video and things like that, we look at them ourselves, along with the use of force report to see, make sure that our policies and laws are, are being followed. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. Now, we did request body camera footage of the incident through an open records request. And at this time, my request is denied because the case is still open.